Hello to all. In this video, we will learn about how to find one-sided image. The existence of a limit function depends on the behavior of a function on both sides of our limit value. If our function approaches the same value as our x approaches the limit value from the left side and from the right side, then we say our limit function is exists. We use x approaches a from left to indicate x approaches a from the left side and we use x approaches a to the power of plus to indicate x approaches a from the right side we call limit of x approaches a from left and limit of x approaches a from right as one-sided limits example 5 from the graph we have to find the following limit Part A, we have to find limit of x approaches negative 3 from left of fx. Now, from our piecewise graph, we only have to focus on negative 3. From here, focus on the left side, which in this case indicate this linear graph. So, from this graph, you have to analyze the limit value. So, start analyzing the graph. We can detect that the graph stop here at negative 1. Sorry, at 1. So, the limit of x approaches negative 3 from left of fx will be equal to 1. Part B, we have limit of x approaches negative 3 from right. So, focus on negative 3 once again, but now from the right side. So, in this case, we have a negative quadratic function. Analyze our graph and check what is the behavior of the graph when the graph approaches negative 3. And it actually stops at 4. So, the limit would be 4. Next one, C. We have limit of x approaches sorry limit of x approaches one from left of fx. So focus on one and check from the left. From here we can detect that actually there is no graph for one from left. In this case, our final answer would be does not exist. Next one, for part D, we have x approaches 1 from right. So, from 1, from right, once again, we have a linear graph. Check the behavior of the function and we know that the function will stop at 2. So, the limit value will be 2. Part D, we have limit of x approaches 4 from left. So, focus on 4 and detect the graph from the left side. So, we have a quadratic graph there and check the limit value. So, we can detect that the graph stop at 2. So, your answer would be 2. And last one, for 4 from the right, your graph would be the last one. And once you check the graph, you know the limit would, value would be 3. And this is how you find the limit based on the graph. Now, for example 6, we have to determine the following limit. But in this case, we don't have any graph, but they only provided the function. Part A, we have limit of x approaches 0 from left of absolute value of x divided by x. Be careful, now we have an absolute function. As you learn in topic 2, absolute value can be defined as two different functions, which are x for x is greater or equal to 0 
and negative x when x is less than 0. So now, in order to avoid any confusion, we can rewrite again this in a number line. So we have 0 as our limit. So based on the function, we have to choose whether we want a positive or negative x. So when x is greater or equal to 0, we have to choose x as our function. So our function will be x over x. In this case, this would be equal to 1. When x is less than 0, we have to choose negative x as our function. So this would be equal to negative x over x. And as you simplify, this would be equal to negative 1. In order to answer the question, we have to find limit of x approaches 0 from left. In this case, 0 from left, the function is negative 1. So our final answer would be negative 1. Part B, we have to find the limit of as x approaches 2 from left of absolute value of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. Once again, we have an absolute function here. So, first step, we have to define our absolute value function. So, absolute value of x minus 2 can be defined as positive of x minus 2 when our x is greater or equal to 2 and negative of x minus 2 when our x is less than 2. Now, we can draw our number line where 2 is our limit. So, for x is less than 2, our function would be the negative function. So, negative of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. And this can be simplified as negative 1. And when x is greater or equal to 2, we have to choose the positive function. So, x minus 2 divided by x minus 2, which in this case can be simplified as 1. In order to answer the equation, we want to find the limit of x approaches 2 from left. So, 2 from left in this case would be negative 1. So, our final answer would be negative 1.